Did you miss me? Because I missed you. Hello, everybody. I'm SigRev2. And we're back again for a third part of Alt Press's uh, Green Day Song by Song ranking, yada, yada, yada. Um, we've already made it to the top 50, and you can already see 49 below, but let's pretend that that's not the case. There's been a lot of ups, there's been a lot of downs, there's been a lot of jams that have been tossed out entirely before the top 50, before the top 100. If you haven't seen the part one, let alone part two, what the fuck are you doing here on part three? Come the fuck on. They, they, just use your head meat momentarily, if you would. But yeah. I figured instead of putting forth effort onto an actual video, which you probably subscribe to see, I'm going through and seeing what some writer over at Alt Press, or I'm sorry, it was some band. I can't remember the name of the person that actually did this list. Uh, it was a member of some band. And, um, yeah, they ranked all 170 songs. Uh, no B-sides, covers, etc., etc., etc. Number 50, Macy's Day Parade. I think it sub should be substantially higher on the list. And as you can see, number 49, Going to Pasalacqua. Another one that should be absolutely higher up on this list. I, it, it's such a massive highlight on such an okay album that there's no way that it deserves only top 50. Especially if you're going to put King for a Day above it. Like, god damn, no way. Like, King for a Day is very fun and it's very different for the band. I get it, but... There's no way in an absolute fresh hell I would put that shit in my top 75. Not even my top 100, I don't think. Chump, I would. Chump, I would absolutely put that shit in my top 50. I don't know exactly where, but it would be in my top 50. It's such a goddamn great song. It, it, with, it, it's one of the things I love about Dookie is at some points, at some points, believe it or not, you can really relate to the lyrics. And, I mean, who of us out here hasn't related to watching someone you care about getting into a situation with someone that they probably shouldn't be getting into? And, I, I, I mean, it's a great song. And that ending, that ending which builds and builds and builds into this fucking monstrous chaos. I mean, God. Just thinking about it makes me want to listen to it, but uh, I've got the next 20 minutes to record and Lord help me when I try to upload these fucking things. Whew. 46, Brutal Love. I would... I don't know if I would have it higher, but I do love this song. I, I think it's one of the best songs from the entire trilogy. Hands down. It's one of the few moments where it a you can actually feel the passion and the love that Billy has, not only for making music, but just for life in general. And this song, it's just, it just, it pulls on your heartstrings. But it's also a product of the trilogy, which I really can't sit here and pretend is anything too special. So, 46, I can understand its placement. As much as I love the song, I would probably place it in a similar placement. That being said, what's at 45, you might ask? Still breathing? Fuck you. I would have that in my top 30. I might even have that in my top 20, actually. That song's fucking amazing. I don't care if it sounds like more pop than Green Day's ever sounded before. It's an amazing song. The lyrics... They're something else entirely. I mean, it's just him comparing himself to other things, but there's a sentiment behind it. There's a reasoning behind most of the things he's comparing himself to, or these people and situations of struggle and demerit and just pain and anguish. And, like, guess what, motherfucker? No matter what you throw at me, I'm still gonna make it... I'm gonna make it through, and I'm still breathing at the end of the day because you can't fucking stop me, and I fucking love the song for that it's just a power anthem uh it's just a power anthem it's a beautiful track absolutely beautiful track like i said top 20 i don't i i understand a lot of people would probably disagree with that and i don't care top 20 easily horseshoes and hand grenades no bottom bottom tier bottom tier one of the weakest fucking things on 21st century breakdown it's like oh let's take one of the Let's take a chord regression from Prosthetic Head that 
wasn't all that great to begin with, and let's flesh it out to an entire song where Billy says fuck a lot. Like, okay, dude, all right. It's it's trying to be energetic and anthemic, and it's it's not landing. It's not making its mark at all. Blood, Sex, and Booze is another one I would rank lower. Like, I, I get it. <laughs> I get it. Nothing wrong with a little bit of fun debauchery, but... I don't know. This song itself, I don't think it would merit top 50 material. Coming Clean, I would probably have that higher up. I I think it's one of the best songs on Dookie. Even if it is one of the shorter ones. I, it, It's just great tune. Great tune. A Christy Road at uh, not in the top 15? Uh, okay. I probably wouldn't put it in my top 15 either. I do apologize for constantly touching and scratching my face. It's I'm not used to being in front of the camera after all this time. It's been a while since I've last uploaded. And uh, it's just me being nervous. It's like, let me just scratch my face like I'm a crack addict. I'm not picking my nose, I swear. FOD. Mm, I like it. It probably wouldn't be my top 50. I don't, I far from hate it. It'd probably be just on the outskirts of my top 50. Uh, it's automatically lowered some points uh, by them forcing the hidden track all by myself on here, which I I don't know if they're including that on this list, and if they are, and they're actually unironically putting all by my fucking self in the top 40, um, hands will be thrown. See the light at 39? Okay, I can understand that. I would have it a bit lower. It's a similar situation to... Uh, still breathing in terms of lyrical department. It's like, oh, well, I'm this and I'm that and I'm powering through all my struggle and adversity and I get it. But I don't know. I, again, probably on the outskirts of the 50. Redundant, much higher up. Much higher up. One of the best songs on Nimrod, hands down. Right, there it is. Are We The Waiting? And you're putting it above St. Jimmy. St. Jimmy was like 70-something and you're going to put Are We The Waiting above it. Like, I get it. It's It's got a nice anthemic feel to it, especially if you're performing. You're, they're, being, they're performing it live. I get it. You're out there in the crowd. It's like, are we, we? I get it. I get it. But like I said when St. Jimmy popped up, this song needs to flow into St. Jimmy. It has to have that dynamic. And St. Jimmy can't exist without this at its beginning. It's You need both parts for the whole thing to feel complete. And by itself, Are We The Waiting probably wouldn't be in my top 50, probably wouldn't even be my top 75. But with St. Jimmy attached to it, like in the context of the album, it's amazing. So, I don't know. I think 37 is way too high for it. For the lobotomy, way too high. Whoa, whoa, 30, mm, no, 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 no. Way too high. Significantly too high. Good song. Not in my top 50. Warning. Okay. I get it. Um, it's a nice, it's a nice little song. Um, not one of my favorites on that album, but I get it. Restless Heart Syndrome. <sighs> okay. So, for those of you who don't know, Restless Heart Syndrome is probably, most definitely, my favorite Green Day song of all time. And goddamn, seeing it not in the top 20 hurts. <laughs> hurts a lot. I'm looking at my uh, my uh, camera, or at my, uh, my screen here, and my face has been beat red since halfway through part two, so I do apologize. I don't have that, uh, what is it, epin epinacea? Like, skin redness and whatnot. I don't have that echidna shit. But yeah, Restless Heart Syndrome, amazing song. I like I like I said, it's my favorite song, so it would be my number one easily. Yeah, there's Geek Stink Breath. Greenies heaviest single from their heaviest album. Yeah, but does that? I, I'm not liking this list because it's not actually giving any actual reasons for their placement in this list. Like, oh, this is Green Day's heaviest single from their heaviest album. Okay. Why does that justify it being at 33? 
in the one above with restless heart syndrome it's worth mentioning that this ballad is track 13 and clocks in at exactly four minutes and 20 seconds ha 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 it's the weed number like what's justifying its placement in this list like if you're gonna do a song ranking give me a reason as to why you feel that this song is where you put it and not just oh well i have a deadline to meet and Green Day's a pretty popular band, so let's do that. Like, like, haha, weed number is not a reasonable reason to put a song in a placement on a fucking ranking. If I did that shit with my DDR rankings, I would be flayed and skinned alive by the two Bimani fans that give a fuck. When I come around, I'd be higher up. I don't know why that's so low, honestly. That's, like, I, as, as hipster as it might sound, I'm not a, I don't really like to gravitate towards the popular singles when it comes to albums, especially with something like Dookie, but when I come around, it's just an absolutely solid song, thick and through, like, whether it was popular or not, it's one of the best songs on that album, one of the best songs that they've done, period, and you're gonna be like, oh, it's not even top 25? I don't, I, I don't know if I can agree with that. I would have that so much higher. God! God! Why are you doing me dirty like this last night on Earth? I don't have a problem with last night on Earth, but bitch, in the top... Almost top 30? I'd have that in my top 75? Sure. Top 30? Almost? No. No. <laughs> Not even close. Nice guys finished last. Okay. Good. Good song. I don't have an argument with that placement. East Jesus Nowhere, I would have it lower. I'm not a big... I'm not too big on that song. But I don't hate it. I... I it's one of those songs where it's like you have to be in a live performance to really get it. And... I, I don't know. I, I, I don't like to judge songs by it's like okay mentally if i'm at a band or if, if, I'm, if i'm at a concert and they play the song how much of my shit will i lose like I, that it's like i'm i'm being handed the album how does the album this song itself on the album give like what does it give to me and i i wouldn't have it this high one of my lies did they put no one knows on this list yet I genuinely don't remember if you have one of my lies above no one knows you might actually uh, hear me scream if I scroll down and I don't register that no one knows is on this list I, you will hear a scream and uh, my neighbors will not be happy so uh, Mr. Alt Press whoever the fuck wrote this list you better not get the police called on me. Misery, no. <laughs> get you could suck my fucking flaccid cock if you think misery is twenty seven out of one seventy. No, homecoming would be significantly higher. Significantly higher. It's one of the best fucking songs that the band has ever made, and you're gonna sit there and tell me it's twenty five, and you're gonna probably gonna put Basket Case at like number three. Brain Stew at 25. Jaded is better. Significantly. But we're going to put it at 25 because it's a popular single. <laughs> I know. It's, it's a hipster in me. And I don't have a problem with Brain Stew. It's a fantastic fucking song. But don't sit there and try to tell me it's at 25. Hitch and a Ride. Okay. Yeah, Hitch and a Ride's great. <laughs> it's great fun. It's something significantly... All right, I do need to make a comment. That fucking face Billy's making in that thumbnail right now, kind of terrifying me just a little bit. So I'm gonna scroll and just like uh, pretend that that didn't happen. Static age, mm hmm. Yeah, I could totally see that placement. This song is fucking fantastic. Longview. I've heard Longview so many times; it's unreal. Like, 
that is basically ingrained into your DNA if you're a Green Day fan at this point. But, yeah, I would fucking put it in my top 20. American Idiot, probably put that a little bit lower. But it's so fun to perform live. If, you, if you're ever performing live in front of people and you don't play American Idiot, I don't know what you're doing, because that song is so fun, and the crowd gets so pumped when you play it. As simple as it is, because it's basically another three-chord song, but it does it in such a phenomenal manner that it's... It, it just strikes a chord with a lot of people. It's just that anger, that political anger and resentment, and you just want to punch a fucking hole in the wall when you listen to it sometimes, and... Fortunately, there's no holes in my walls, so uh, you don't need to worry about me there. Worry Rock at number 20? Um, I, uh, as much as I like Worry Rock, I would not have it this high up. I, It's another one of those that hover around the 50 mark, maybe, because it's, it's such a good song, but... Compared to most other Green Day songs, I can't justify it as a twenty point as a twenty out of one seventy. Holiday, of course, Holiday would of course be up here. I would. I don't know if I'd have it in my top ten, but it would probably be my top fifteen. So nineteen's understandable. Basket case. Oh my god, it's not at number three. Holy shit. Basket case is great though. Like holy shit. Like come on. As much of a dignified hipster as I am, Basket Case is so much fun. So fucking fun. Holy shit. And, and by the way, side note, if you haven't listened to DJ Cummerbund's Basket Flies, please do yourself a favor and listen to that. Whether you agree with me in this list at all or not, please just listen to Basket Flies if you haven't already. That's it's mm, so good. Give me Novocaine. Oh, that would be top five. That would be top five. That's one of my favorite Green Day songs. That's one of my favorite songs in general. But I can understand the 17. It kind of has me worried, though. Because, I mean, aside from Jesus of Suburbia and, like, a few of the other singles, like, Welcome to Paradise is obviously going to be in the top, which I'm not too thrilled about. I'm kind of surprised they haven't mentioned uh, the Kerplunk. Welcome to Paradise, so I'm wondering if they're going to count that as two separate songs. I haven't looked through this list beforehand, so I'm I'm kind of just thinking out loud here. Armitage Shanks, nice, nice, yeah. Uh, such a fucking, oh my god, one of their best openers ever, easily. Good Rinse Time of Your Life, okay, alright. You know, you like the classics, you like the hits. Um... I can't complain with Good Riddance Time of Your Life. It's a very heartfelt song, and, you know, it means a lot to a lot of people, especially to me. Um, as a Seinfeld fan, you know, I, I can't find myself watching the clip show without shedding a tear or two because they had to play this song of all other songs over that sent over that ending. And, uh, like, yeah, you made me turn into a big baby. I hope you're fucking happy, Jerry Seinfeld. Fuck you. Next caller. Welcome to Paradise, yeah. Uh, Dookie's version ranks higher than Kerplunk's by a nose. We can hear you whining. I mean, obviously, the Dookie version's better, but, like, are you really not? Oh, oh, okay. I just now noticed what they did there. It's saying 13 and 14 together at one. Like, oh my god, you're fucking clever, aren't you? Yeah, welcome to Paradise. I wouldn't have it so high up. Like, I, I, I. Totally get the hype for it, but it's one of those. But it's kind of like Longview, but I don't feel it's as justified of its longevity as Longview. Two thousand light years awaits at number twelve. That's genuinely surprising, honestly. Um, it's a great song for sure. One of my favorites on Kerplunk, but I don't know if I would have it in my top fifteen. Like, one for the Razorbacks and Christy Road and No One Knows and shit. Those would edge it out by a mile. Peacemaker? No. No, 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 no. Oh, 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 oh. 
Are you fucking joking? At number 11? Oh, boy. Damn, you must love your fucking filler, bro. Because this shit's chock full of it. It's like, oh, boy, let me just play the B minor chord. In fact, where's my fuck? I'm going to grab my guitar. It's, it, it's not tuned properly, but I don't give a fuck. Here we go. There you have it. There you have it. You have Peacemaker. That's it. That's all you need, ladies and gentlemen. That's all Peacemaker is. B minor. Oh, well, there's an F sharp major. I don't give a fuck. This song's not good. Especially not in the top fucking 25. Especially not in the... At number 11! Bro! It's so fucking... Oh, my God. Whew. Imagine if I was a professional music critic and just absolutely tearing these songs asshole after asshole after asshole. Like, oh, my God. This song would get the biggest fucking reaming. Like, geez, like fucking... Braz Brazzers would be fucking jealous of the reaming I would do to this song's asshole. You would have to pay a $60 fucking paywall to see that reaming, I tell you what. Minority, so waiting is a lot higher up, which is good. I like that. Minority, really damn good song. Top 15. Yeah, easily. Boulevard of Broken Dreams, great. And the legacy that precedes it, justified. Wake Me Up When September Ends. It's a very emotional song, and I can resonate to it somewhat as someone who has lost their father. I get it. But why this music video? I understand it's a somewhat of a different topic, but I need to know who the fuck was like... I know this song. I, I know this song. Imagine me being the uh, director, uh, just talking to the uh, to get the clearance about this. Like, now, I know the song is about Billy reminiscing over the loss of his father. But <laughs> what if the music video had nothing to do with that? and was instead expressly anti-war propaganda? That has something in to, to do with the album, but basically nothing to do with the album. With, we're just going to throw in a love interest in there too, just to absolutely solidify it. I don't get it. I don't get the music video, but the song is amazing. Absolutely amazing. I think it'd be in my top five. Yeah, top five. Waiting, another top five song. Waiting is so, oh. Mm. It pisses me off that, that God's Greatest Band, uh, Greatest Hits that they released the other year didn't include this because this is easily one of the greatest fucking things the band has ever done. I, I, I really don't have any more words for it aside from that. It's so good. She? No. Not even in my top 20. I know that uh, fans of the band love that song. I'm not one of them. I think it's so fucking... I don't want to say boring, but compared to everything else on that album, it doesn't hold a candle to most of it. Number six. Fuck that. 21 Guns? No. 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 I get it. You're trying to play it safe, but come the fuck on. Be realistic. Have some journalistic integrity, alt press. 21 guns? Like, what, are you trying to appeal to the fucking 40-year-old mom demographic with this fucking list? Get out of here. 21 guns is fucking horse shit. Jesus of Suburbia. Of course, it was going to be in the top five, because why wouldn't it be? Homecoming is better, but, uh, you know, this isn't my list. I'm not getting paid to make this video, and I'm not getting paid to make these lists, so fuck it. My opinion, necessarily, don't matter. What's her name? Okay. I, mm, yeah. Hell yeah. That I probably said it a thousand other times, but yeah, like top five, probably number six, my top five. It's a it's a fantastic album. One of the band's best closers by a long shot. <laughs> um. 
I, I have nothing to complain about here. I'm just surprised they threw it that high. Normally, it'd be like, I don't even know what's missing from this list at this point, honestly. You'd think I would know. It's like, oh, well, it's going to be one of the... It's going to be... It's probably no one knows. Honestly, the more I think about it, it's going to be number two or number one if it hasn't been on here already. Burnout. I don't agree with it being so high up, but it's a great song. A letter... Bu Whoa! Okay. That, that was my scream, by the way, from earlier. I said that I was going to scream if I didn't fucking see No One Knows on this list. And I don't see No One Knows in number two or number one spot. And you're going to sit there and fucking tell me that Burnout is one of the best songs that the group has ever fucking made. And while it's a great song, it's not number two. But Letter Bomb's fantastic. I, fuck, uh, I don't agree with it being the best song. But it's such a goddamn good song that I really can't even complain. I can only complain about No One Knows not being this fucking high up. But, you know, I, 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 part of me wants to believe that they didn't, just flat out didn't include it, but I'm pretty sure that they included it and I didn't notice it. It's probably in one of the earlier parts, you know. If you've been watching this far, kudos to you, because uh, I don't remember this shit. I'm probably going to forget about this entire list by the time uh, I'm done recording. All right, so Letter Bomb, is there anything below that? No, no, it's just uh, promoting promoting uh, magazines. Okay, so Letter Bomb. Alt Press's uh, favorite Green Day song, or their number one pick. Can't say I necessarily agree with that, but I think most people wouldn't agree with my number one pick either. Uh, but I I can completely understand the love for Letter Bomb. It is such a fantastic song through thick and through, thick and thin, and there's just something about it that feels most unrivaled in a ton of Green Day's other music. So, oh, nobody likes you if this isn't your favorite Green Day song. Well, nobody likes me in general, and th these videos are going to do nothing but prove that to at least the Green Day community, all three of them that'll probably watch this. But yes, Letter Bomb, number one. whoop do you fucking do We're done with this list now. Holy shit, it's, I've been recording for about an hour and a half now, it feels like. And you're going to be getting this lovely, lovely waste of my time sent to you in three parts. And this is the end of part three. Ladies and gentlemen, let me know in the comments below what you think of this list from Alt Press. And what you think about my thoughts on the list. I'm sure you'll probably think that I'm being annoying as fuck. But honestly, I had a great time going through this. Whether I agreed with the selections or not, I'm not going to knock them necessarily you know it's their opinion people are entitled to like what they like and that's the beauty of being an individual is that anything that you like you can like it and it's on you that wasn't exactly what i was planning on saying but fuck it i'm not good at improv yet so <laughs> that's the best you're gonna get anyway i'm sigrev2 thank you for wasting your time as well as my time, on this lovely, <laughs> lovely ranking. And I will see you all soon enough, hopefully with proper video. Don't be a stranger. Have a great day.